Hi everyone, it's Jessica. Thanks for stopping by today to watch as I create this fun rainbow card. So I'm thinking I'm going to use the Sunny Days Ahead stamp set, which works perfectly with the Build a Rainbow Thin Cut. And I don't end up using that sentiment, but I do use the heart. And then I am using these Build a Rainbow Thin Cuts, which I really love. And they have this cute little cloud on there. But actually I'm going to use the Fancy Borders Thin Cut and that one border that I showed you to cut some clouds and do clouds that way instead. And here you can see I've gone ahead and cut about three strips of those out of white daisy cardstock. I also have a piece of bluebird cardstock, another piece of white daisy, and then I have cut the different arches of my rainbow out of candy apple, canary, and green apple and lagoon. And I just love those bright colors together. And so to get started, I'm gonna kind of set some of this to the side. I'm just gonna prep this Bluebird piece of cardstock, which I did cut down just a little bit from an A2 size card. So it is cut to four inches by five and a quarter. And that way when I put it on the card front, it will have just a little bit of a white border around it. The next thing I need to prep is this piece of white daisy cardstock, which is also cut down just a quarter inch from that. So it's three and three quarters by five inches. And I'm coming in with some of my tumbled glass distress oxide in my foam blending tool. Now I'm pouncing it off to the side there first, so that way I don't have that really dark saturated color that you can see where that foam blending tool first hits the paper, just to kind of take some of that initial color off. And I'm just kind of creating a cloud of that turquoise color for myself. And this is gonna be where my rainbow is going to sit. Now here it looks pretty dark and noticeable, but actually by the time I put my rainbow on it, it's not really that noticeable. Um, it's just a little something that kind of grounds it. And so it doesn't feel like that rainbow is floating in a bunch of white space. All right, I'm gonna pull out my all-purpose mat and switch over to my Versa mat instead. So that way I can make sure everything is lined up nice and straight. And I am just going to use my T-square ruler almost as like a wedge, if you will, to make sure that when I am putting these arches on, that they go on straight on the front of the card. And I'm using my tweezers to hold onto them because they are really small, thin cuts, and it's a lot easier just to kind of work with the tweezers that way uh, rather than my big clumsy fingers. And I'm putting just a few dots of the Tombow uh, liquid glue there just to kind of tack it down to the card front because I am going to be stitching over these arches, and I don't want to gum up my needle when I'm going through and doing that stitching. So it's just enough to kind of hold it in place and make sure that everything is on straight before I begin stitching. So now I'm gonna come in with my piercing tool and just poke a couple of holes through each of those different arches. And then what I'm going to do is pull in some embroidery thread that matches each of the different colors and just stitch a little line around the rainbow. And I really was inspired to do this by that fancy border thin cut that I was going to use for the clouds because it has a really pretty stitched detail across the top of it. And I thought that that was so cool. And I thought, well, wouldn't it be fun if there was some stitching on the rainbow itself? And that was kind of where, where I came up with the idea. Honestly, it popped in my head the other night as I was trying to fall asleep. And then I almost couldn't fall asleep. I almost had to like get up in the middle of the night and make this card just to like get it out of my head. Um, but I was really happy with the way that it turned out. And I love the look of the stitching through all of the rainbow arches. So I just pulled on some of this thread out of my stash and it's just DMC embroidery thread and I used two strands for each of the colors and I just tried to pull some colors that matched that close to my heart cardstock. Like I said, I'm using candy apple, canary, um, who oh, is it canary or Sundance? I think it's canary, um, green apple and lagoon, and then just kind of stitching a little bit. It took about 10 minutes and I did skip over a bunch of it here so that you didn't have to watch me stitch all of those different arches, but you know, 10 minutes and it wasn't too bad. Um, but I thought it was worth the time to kind of give it that extra special touch. And so here I'm just kind of done at the end. And then I just secure each of those pieces of thread with a little bit of regular scotch tape at the back. And it won't even be noticeable because I'm going to put it on that bluebird piece of cardstock. So there, that part is done. Okay, and so now we are ready to start putting those clouds on with that fancy border thin cut that I had cut out with my cuddle bug. And I have three different strips of that and I'm just gonna kind of layer them and I'm going to put one of them up on foam tape. So here what I'm doing is I'm just trying to kind of see, you know, about where the placement's going to be and how far down that bottom piece is gonna to need to be to hit the bottom of the card front because I do wanna stamp a sentiment on my bottom row of clouds. 
And I'm going to go ahead and do that first just so I can make sure that it's going to fit on there before I start adhering anything down. Now, originally I was thinking I wanted to use one of the sentiments from the Sunny Days Ahead stamp set, but it was just a little bit too big. I thought that perhaps my clouds wouldn't fit if I stamped that whole thing on there. So instead I came in with my June stamp of the month, which is called Outdoor Borders. And there is one of the borders on there that says, Hello Summer. And I thought that would be perfect with that cute little rainbow. Um, and so what I did is I actually cut that stamp apart so they had only the part that said hello summer. Previously when I was using the stamp I had cut one of the little suns off so it was just not too big of a deal just to cut the next part of that stamp off. Um, I don't normally cut my stamps. I know people do that a lot. Um, it makes me a little bit nervous, but this was one that I thought, you know, I definitely would get a lot of use out of it if it were cut into pieces. And so that was really not such a big deal. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stamp it in that same bluebird color, just down here underneath the top of those clouds. And I love the way that that looks and it's perfect. Now the English teacher in me does feel the need to make the comment that there should be a comment after the word hello because it is a direct address. So probably I will have to go back into one of my alphabet stamp sets and find a little comma somewhere just to make sure that it's grammatically correct. All right, so I'm gonna add some silver shimmer trim to the bottom of that and then that's gonna be across the very bottom of all of my stacked clouds. And I'm just kind of lining this up on my VersaMat before I put that silver shimmer, shimmer trim down so that I make sure that it is going on straight. And that's perfect right there, just kind of sitting right underneath of that Hello Summer sentiment. And then you will notice that when I am cutting my shimmer trim, I leave a little bit of that tail right there. That way it makes it easier to get it started the next time I want to use it. So I don't just cut the shimmer trim straight, but I make sure I'm cutting just the actual shimmer trim and not the backing of it. And so now that I've done that, I can go ahead and trim off that excess bit of white underneath the silver. And then now I know where that bottom layer of my clouds will be. Um, and it's gonna kind of help me as I go through and build these three different stacked levels and layers of the clouds. Now I did end up popping only one of them up on foam tape, but you certainly could kind of do, you know, one flat to the card, one on thin 3D foam tape, one on regular foam tape, and just kind of really add a whole lot of dimension with these clouds, and that would be really cute, but I just did the one middle layer. So I think that that looks good like that. I want to make sure that when I put them on that those, the, the rounded tops of the clouds are all kind of staggered and they're not in line with each other just to make it a little bit more organic and normal looking um, as clouds would be because clouds of course are not uniform. And I'm just again going to make sure that everything is going on straight here. So I love my VersaMat for that reason. Um, and I'm just going to kind of cover, barely cover the very bottom of the rainbow here. I just kind of missed just a little bit. I have to pull it up tiny little bit, but just cover the very, very bottom part of those arches of the rainbow with my first layer of clouds and make sure that that cloud is on straight. And then here is where I'm going to put some thin 3D foam tape um, across that middle. So I'll just cut the excess off so I can kind of see a little bit better what I'm doing as I'm building these up. And then I'm going to come in with that thin 3D foam tape for my second layer. But first I want to kind of make sure, you know, where exactly is it going to be. And this one I'm actually not putting on straight. I'm kind of doing it at a bit of an angle. So I really wanted that first one to be straight and then the bottom one to be straight. But I put the middle one on crooked because, again, clouds are not really very uniform. Um, and then I'm just kind of placing that all around in a couple of little pieces I am obsessed with foam tape. I use it all of the time. So I try to kind of cut myself a couple of little pieces rather than, you know, going crazy and just covering the whole back of it because I just, I go through so much foam tape. I love it so much. All right. So kind of coming in at an angle here, and like I said, off centered so that those rounded tops of the clouds are all just a little bit different. Cut the excess off of the side. And really this card came together so quickly. If it weren't for the stitching, it would have been, I mean, probably a 10 minute card. 
And that's one of the things that I really love about that Build a Rainbow Thin Cut is that it's so fun in and of itself that it's very easy to create with. And so here I'm just putting a couple of extra pieces of foam tape down in that bottom part, which will be hidden by my third layer of clouds to make sure that it's up at the same level. And then I'm just lining up the bottom of that silver shimmer trim with the bottom of this piece of a white daisy that is the card front. And then I made sure that my Hello Summer sentiment was over to the left, um, and that's pretty much it. And now I just need to go ahead and put that onto that Bluebird piece of cardstock. Awesome, I love it. This is so fun, and like I said, it's just a couple of little touches like that Distress Oxide background and the stitching in the rainbow arches um, that just make it so fun and summery and I don't know, I just really love the vibrancy of the colors here. Uh, Bluebird has been my go-to cardstock color um, with all of my card projects this summer. I don't know why, it just kind of reminds me of summer and I really love how bright and blue it is. So there we go. All right, and then I'm gonna come in and just adhere this to the card front. And like I said, I did originally kind of cut that down just a tiny little bit so that we can have some white border revealed around the edge. Okay, and now we're down to those final touches. So. I wanted to still use that Sunny Days Ahead stamp set and I kind of felt like I still had some empty white space up in the top above the arches of the rainbow. So I pulled that cute little heart that's on there and I'm just gonna add a little bit more Bluebird and I'm just going to stamp two hearts up here in the top right corner. And then I think about maybe trying to squeeze one somewhere over on the left-hand side, but I think it would be a tight fit and end up looking a little bit too crowded. So I just am gonna leave it at those two in the top right. But what I am going to do um, for my final finishing touch is grab some of my liquid pearls. And I am using the Robin's Egg color. I'm just gonna test it on a scratch piece to make sure I've got some good flow going. And then I'm gonna add a couple of dots. So I'll have two over, oh, I'm sorry, three over here because of the rule of threes. And then I'm gonna put one on either side of my Hello Summer sentiment. And that just kind of takes care of some of that empty white space. And I think that the end result is really cute. Just be sure that if ever you use the liquid pearls that you don't accidentally stick your hand in your project before they are dry. Ask me how I know. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this card and you can see here in some of the close-ups um, how I did the stitching through the arches and some of those really fun liquid pearls and what those little dots, how shiny they are and so pretty. Love that fancy border thin cut. All right, guys, happy crafting.